Hey guys, I'm Zander from Edit and I hope you're all having an absolute cracker of a day. Today I want to show you my fully automatic, fully 3D printed crossbow, which I'm really excited about because two years ago I tried to make a fully automatic crossbow, which just didn't work out. This time is completely different though, do stick around and I hope you enjoy the video. I do have to apologize, I haven't uploaded in ages, I've been working on projects, I just haven't gotten around to actually recording and uploading them. And I'm sorry about that, I'm hoping that's going to change soon. So do hit that subscribe button, but let's get into the video. So something I do want to say is that it actually works off of a crank, so it's not fully, fully automatic. Um, but the traditional first machine guns, which were actually Gatling guns, also functioned off a crank, so I can, I'm going to give myself a little bit of leeway and say that it's fully automatic. Um, if I were to build a scale version, I would probably um, convert the crank to a motor, and that way I'd be able to get a much larger fire rate, and it would be an all-around badass addition to the design. Okay, so just before I show you guys, I do want to tell you this is a really early prototype. This is a really early version of the crossbow. But to me, the beauty of 3D printing is, Taking an idea and designing it on a computer in a matter of hours and then 3D printing it straight from your design from the computer onto a model you can touch and hold and you can actually test visually. And to me that's absolutely amazing. And then if that model works out, this prototype works out, then you go to the next step of designing, of taking that design and putting it into a more appropriate version. So a larger version maybe or a, a version made from more appropriate materials than a 3D printer can provide for us. But that said, it is a really early prototype but I still want to show you guys quite badly. So let's get going. I actually ended up printing three versions and the first version one being the smallest was this one. It's actually one of my favorite one right now. Um, just because it was ended up being the most robust and the most functioning at the end. Um, version 2, yeah, I tried something else. I tried to give it a further drawback. And what I mean by that is that it goes a little bit further. So the bow gets pulled back further. And in theory, I should get a little bit more power. Um, but what ended up happening was the parts, the 3D printed parts, got started getting too small on my printer. I'm trying to print the whole thing in one go and started breaking apart. Um, and then I tried to print it in two segments. Um, but sort of attaching those together didn't end up working too well. Um, and then version 3, it was basically the same as version 2, um, except I tried to scale the whole thing down and fit it on my print bed, um, which, and then I would use less rubber bands, and that way I would be able to um, sort of tone down the power a bit, so that if I were to scale it up and have larger, stronger parts, I would be able to hypothetically use this design. And it ended up working, although I there are a few kinks in the design as well, but this was probably, if I were to scale it up, I'd probably end up using this version. Um, although I think version 1 in the 3D printed format that is currently um, is probably the best one. But on the second two versions I actually changed the traditional bow concept from the front and rather made this sort of bolt system where on the larger version that if I were to make an actual scale version of this I would use springs. Um, and I think um, although that's not really a crossbow anymore, I think it's better, it's more compact, it'll probably be work a little bit better in the gun format. Alright guys, so that's all three models covered but stick around if you want to find out how some of these things actually work. I printed the project on my Tiva Tarantula 3D printer in a cron glow in the dark red filament. Although I'm not sure about the glowing in the dark part because I haven't noticed that even though I did check and the filament doesn't seem to be red at all. So I'm not sure if that's my own mistake or if that's a shipping error. Um, other than that the filament seems great. Okay looking at version 1, I'm just going to try and explain to you how the whole thing works. So first off let's start with the crank mechanism. So right here we've got a bit of a crank and the idea of it is it has a, a freewheel system and if you know something about bikes you'll know a freewheel is a device that will turn one way. If you turn it one way it adds force like on a bicycle pedal but if you try and turn it the other way it doesn't latch and that way it just spins freely. So that's how I have the release mechanism so all you have to do to actually shoot this guy is you turn this crank. Okay then the hand crank sort of goes to this crankshaft mechanism which attaches to the actual shaft which goes to another joint. Um, which and the joint then attaches to the hammer which I've got inside of the crossbow Then the idea is that I turn the crank the crankshaft pulls back this mechanism fights against the bow with these springs there and As it goes back makes space for the bullet to slide in from the spring loaded magazine slides into the barrel Then when this crankshaft gets around all the way around it releases pushes forward Pushes the dart out and shoots then next time it pulls back and makes space for the next bullet in the magazine And it just pulls it straight up and it actually ended up working pretty well Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I really appreciate that you stuck around till the end. Please do hit the like and subscribe buttons. I would really appreciate it. Um, it would just give me that little bit of motivation to make more videos. And I really do want to get around to making some more videos. So again, thanks so much for watching. And I hope you have an absolute cracker of a day. Cheers, guys.